How to tell if an odometer has been rolled back on a 7.3 or really any diesel. If you're watching this, you know the problem. These trucks never go in for emissions. So very rarely is there, um, is there any history on it on Carfax. I actually, Carfax, this is my new truck. It's a 2001, it's got 80,000 miles. And I believe that the miles are actually legit, but I didn't know that until this morning. So to, to cut to the chase so you don't have to watch forever, the answer is dust. Dust. And you're thinking, what? what? How is it dust? So let me show you. So if you're going to, last night I was watching all these rollback videos on how to roll back an odometer because I wanted to see, okay, what do I need to look for to check? And um, as I was watching it, it occurred to me that if you have to pull the cluster out, you're going to have to like touch a lot of stuff, right? Specifically, when you pull the cluster out on these things, and I'm going to have to work on getting some good exposure. Let me see if I can do it this way. Okay, so if you pull the cluster out, you got to pull this off, okay? And this is another thing. Look here. You got to pull this thing out, okay? So here's where, ah, oh, the exposure sucks. I'm sorry. Here's where we get real specific. You ready? Mike, hold out on that ratchet for a second. Um, here's where we get real specific. I want you to take a look at that, okay? Look at the dust on that, okay? So I'm hoping you can see that. But basically, and let me see where my camera is. Okay, so basically the idea is right here. Look at all this dust that's all over this. And look at that dust. And now I did this, right? I did that little area. But watch this. You ready? Look at this. <gasps> Okay, so I know, look at this dust grime on my finger, hello. So I know that hadn't been touched any time lately. So as long as you know recently, you know, you can, you can gather. I mean, even when they landed on the moon, they were nervous that the lunar lander was going to sink from the dust. So that's just one way. And then also, you can also kind of look down in there. And you can see, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's all sorts of dust in there, specifically right under that cluster. And guess what? It hadn't been disturbed. So all of a sudden, when I thought about it, I'm like, ah, I think this truck is legit. 80,000 miles on a 7.3. Come on with it, 4x4 crew cap. Okay, I hope this has got, helped you guys. I know it's put my mind to ease because I know that that thing hadn't come undone. And as I look down in there, the other place you can kind of tell, look at this. There's This stuff has not been undone or has, been, it has not been messed with either. So that dust hasn't been disturbed. So, and then, you know, there's dust in here also. That dust hasn't been disturbed. So I hope that helps you guys. This is a real neat little trick. And by the way, just as a quick side note, all this stuff comes out really easy. This thing, you can just pop. Look at, let me just show you this real quick. You can even do this while you're sitting there looking at the truck. Watch how fast this pops out. It's just one little screwdriver and it pops out that easy. And you can check the dust on the 7.3 or on the 6.0. Hope you're not buying a 6.0. Uh, but on the diesel truck, that's it. I hope this video helps you guys. Y'all take it easy. Bye.